So why do science-based medical practitioners prescribe drugs with side effects? Let me give you an exaggerated example to explain this. Suppose you are brought into the emergency room with gangrene in your foot. You will have only two choices. One is to amputate your foot and the other is to die. What would you choose? To lose a foot or to lose your life? If you chose losing a foot, then that answers why doctors may knowingly prescribe drugs with adverse side effects. The drug quinine is a classic example of this. Malaria was a disease that killed millions of people through the ages and was found on every continent except Antarctica. Till 1944, quinine was the only drug that could help fight malaria till safer alternatives were synthesized. But it came with terrible side effects in some people. Among its adverse effects were kidney failure and liver failure. Now, if you were a doctor and you're presented with a person suffering from malaria, what would you choose? Prescribe a medicine with known side effects that will increase the person's lifespan but may damage the person's organs or let the person die without any treatment there and then. Hi, this is Aditya Menon from The Lateral Enquirer. What you just saw now was a snippet from an episode on our channel where we have tried to comprehend the saying there is good and bad on both sides. Stated to imply that there are benefits to alternative and traditional healthcare too, where at times it is superior to science-based medicines. To watch it in detail, please come over to our YouTube channel where I lay out perspectives often overlooked. Please follow the details given on your screen now or in the description below. See you there.